Welcome Mitch Kings and Queens. Today's going to be a short one. We're going to play Shame Legacy by a developer called uh, Fairy Ship Games and Revenant Games. Um, it's supposed to play a little bit like Amnesia and Outlast. I've not actually played Outlast properly. Um, probably will be soon. Uh, but I have played Amnesia uh, when I used to do Twitch. For those wondering why I look like a red tomato, that is because the weather has been pretty nice and I have you sat outside in the sun and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit embarrassed the fact that I look this burnt. I have been wearing sunscreen. Um, but yeah, let's jump onto Shame Legacy. Uh, let's see what it holds, how it plays, what we can do. So let's see what it gives us. I like the main screen. Oh, I like that. So this is like a cultist survival horror puzzle solving type game. I know they said escape room, but it's nothing like escape room. It's purely all like the survival horror stuff you see in like Outlast, for example. I mean, sort of hopes there's a little bit like Green Hill too, because that was that's really fun to play. I like those sort of survival horror games. Survival hot survival horror <laughs> games. Father! Rosie! Dad is coming! Daddy has two Ds in it. Insane. Very good. It's a daddy. It's two Ds. I have two Ds right here. Okay. Proof. Daddy's not have two Ds for nothing. Ooh. We were right into it. So, what was happening? No chance in hell did I miss that. Mm, the pictures and stuff aren't too bad. Better than Ark, I guess. <laughs> oh. I don't see you bleeding wake up in the middle of nowhere. I had another seizure. Okay. Another seizure. And why is William having these seizures? Why was Mary and Rosie worried? Like, screaming and stuff? Is William the daddy? Why am I walking on wood? I take that back, the textures are pretty much like arc. Looking at the grass. Alright, no sound effects walking into puddles. That's a lot of flames. Now I do like the uh, the light rays, like the breaks in the materials where the light shines through, that's cool. That's interesting. What do I do? Just walk into it? I mean, there's not much destruction. It doesn't look very burnt to me. What do I do? Where do I go? Right, so that's not very clear. Oh, we'll go this way, do we? Gonna walk up this. Oh. There's a village nearby. Right. So no context on what has happened. Can I go this way? No, I can't. A bunch of screaming. The kids screaming for daddy and that's about it, really. Seizures, you're in a random place with no explanation. Uh, vault. Okay, so it has some direction at least, that's, that's a good thing. What a run! Is there no run? Double tap now, no run. That's an interesting looking tree. Lots of lanterns, very pretty. Uh, 
Raindrops on the screen also make no sense to me. But I'm trying not to be critical. Oh, it's a priest. Maybe that's who took Rose. Rosa, or whatever this, this guy's I got his name is. I hopes for you, but you became a plague. Uh, to yourself, to this village. It's the father's duty to guide his children. If one starts to act unruly, father has to punish that child. After all these years, you're still that scared little kid. What? Are you nuts? You don't make any sense. Don't talk. Certainly interesting, he's doing a lot of waking up on the ground. Sort of like the newest amnesia rebirth. What Am I hallucinating? God, I hope not. Do not hallucinate about priests, for the love of God. It's not something you want to hallucinate about. <laughs> Wakefield Village. All imaginary. Couldn't possibly be a real place. Right. I've heard of Wakefield. And I've been there. Here's a place. It's not a village. Uh, well, maybe. Compared to where I'm living now, yeah, probably it's like a little village. <laughs> Compared to, like, the old London. The myth. I don't know. You know, some of the big places. Where do I go? Anyway. Enough rambling. Well, if Wakefield's not good enough to be rambling about. Although the cathedral's pretty nice. But it just ties in with the Pope. You know? Or the priest, or whatever the, the hell it is. Hmm. Holy shit. What was that? This place is starting to freak me out. Wakefield Village Smith Carpentry. Uh, let's go to the carpentry place. Maybe we can craft some... Spears. I know this place. Hazy. It sounds hazy, dude. Hide? Yeah. Oh, that mechanic's strange. Yeah, that's right, just stick your entire hand out. Oh, can't possibly see me. That's an uh, interesting mechanic, I like that. That's... I don't think I've played a game that has some... Who's doing this? Ooh! Ooh! What do I do? When there's hide and I hear all that... Oh, no. Try this place. No, probably can't. No. Can I... No, I can't sm I can't fit between a massive tree. Too much, too much of a belly on that dad bod. These double D's are too massive. So W to move the carriage. So we're certainly interested in this game. Oh, interesting mechanics. Interesting scenery. Ha <laughs> 
Um, I can't actually go around and see who's beating a woman to death. Is there anything of use? There's a lot of stuff of use, except I just can't pick it up. Ah, that's the way it seems in most games nowadays. Oh look, here's a bunch of weapons. You can't pick a single one up. You're in a horror game. No, I never thinks to pick up the weapon, apparently. I would. I'd be the first one, like, grabbing that fucking thing there. All the... In fact, I will grab this hoe. Because everybody needs a hoe. Or is it a shovel? A shovel? Yeah, it's a shovel. I'd still use a shovel. I'd whack some cunt over the head with it. Pardon my words. I don't like using the word C-U-N-T. But in those, in those situations, the guy that's trying to murder you, he is a C-U-N-T. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, whoa. I'm not sure if I can show that. Thank God he covered it up with a message. These poor refugees have no idea what they're talking in. Uh, they're walking into. When they go missing, snow and it's more and more strange things have been happening in Wakefield. Talk to Jack the Butcher about it. Said to me, Peter, who cares as long as you've got a home and food uh, to, put your, to put on your family's table. Even if that's what everyone's saying, I don't think it's okay. Wakefield's starting to feel like a cursed town. Uh, I don't know if I heard right or not, but when I was uh, dropping off an order from the carpenters, uh, I overheard someone whispering, uh, some men whispering up, sacrificial ritual. What if something happens to my family? Uh, things are getting out of hand. Am I going to tell Father George about it? Peter Bark. May God help your soul. Alright, for a second there, I thought those crows were flies. They're very tiny crows. So they got a good atmosphere. Why do I need to... Why do I keep doing this? I keep thinking it's something to freaking... Like... Rummage through and find stuff in. Although now I'm wondering why I'm... Wanting to go up to these. What are they called now? My mind is just wanting to call them shit pots, but they're not shit pots. Well, they are shit pots. The toilet cabin, port loop things. But they're not portable. They're just the toilets. Rummaging for use useful items. I'm questioning why I'm wanting to go to those toilets and rummage for useful items. Ugh. Maybe I've played too many horror games that have the key in the toilet. I'm gonna blame that. Father! Rosie! What am I saying? That's my daughter's name. No! Rosie! Stop! Stop! It's okay, Rosie. Please. The priest no. won't get you. Rosie! Ooh! <laughs> what the? How is that thing? We're we supposed to be cultists. Oh god. Shit. Are these caused by the hallucinations? Alright, they Where these men understand and receive power, riches and wisdom, strength and honor, glory and blessing. Is the lamp that will sleep to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing? Okay. So, I don't like how slow and cumbersome the these running are the is. Sleep to receive power. Right, William, shut up. Oh, I say. Why do I keep leveling this? It's called Brainwash. Shit. Okay. 
Okay. Alright. What an ass. Good morning, you're across the bridge anyway. <laughs> the hands just running like this. <laughs> the hell. First that monster, and now a crazy woman. Life, eh? What the hell is going on here? That's uh, how I feel most days. What now? Excuse you. It's a joke, don't take it so seriously. Running through the woods. Okay. So cultists are crazy people. What is he doing? What's wrong with him? It looks like he's possessed by something. Okay. Now I'm not going to stand there and find out what's happening. Because no doubt nothing will happen. And nothing will run out and just kill him. As funny as that would be. It's in layers, layers of fear where the doll runs out and nuts the cabinet. possibly yeah. talking about me. I bet his daughter and family aren't dead. I bet he's hallucinating it all. I bet he doesn't even have a, fam a family. He's just sat at home in his rocking chair. In his late 60s. After working coal mines. So this is a this does have quite a good feel, a bit like amnesia. But like the first the first games. Maybe a, a little bit well, I'm not sure yet, but on rebirth you have that thing where if you get if you got two what's the word? No. If you got too too scared, you would sort of get this weird glaze, this like weird veiny vignette. Go across your eyes, and you would, you would just panic and run, and then eventually pass out. And this guy's done that a few times, and it gives me that sort of feel. But I can't be certain that that's going to happen often. Um, but like, just the cultists, the way things are going, the sound, the atmosphere does have an amnesia-like feel to it. Because I think there were some weird creatures in Rebirth. I know, one big ass baby that was trying to kill you at some point. That was really weird. Okay, I thought that save point was, uh... I was right, it was sound. Shit. <laughs> Low sound, moderate sound, high sound. Please don't activate with my mic. Just, uh, push that away a little bit. They'll just perceive your sight and sound. Levels of sound uh, make more sound when you move faster. Three levels of sound. No sound, bit of sound, loud. <laughs> that's that's what I say. Way. I can't be seen. And actually, like some leaning mechanics for this will make things have a bit better feel. Over left. Where exactly should I go from here? Keep going this way. I should go left. Don't mind me. Oh! Out the way! Out the way! What? Seriously, no fight mechanic.
Well. That ended very quickly. Try that one more time. See if we can get past them, because... Like, as soon as it caught me, that was it. It was dead. I know some games are like that. You just die when you're caught. But, like... These are some sort of prompt in these sort of games. I would have thought that this was the type of game, with the way it feels, that it would actually have some sort of combat mechanic to, like, get them off you. That might come later down, later down the line. It's coming this way. I don't like the enter. I can't be seen. Is a way to get you off. At the screen. I don't know why I find it so hard earlier. Get to here, I have to run. <laughs> right, so I'm currently very quiet. I think I'm far enough away to. Oop. I did not see that guy! These are weird. I smell his fear. You smell nothing. I don't smell. Right, so I, my idea is that when it comes closer this way, I'm going to just go over this way and ignore everything I was thinking a moment, a moment ago. If you miss me. Certainly think I can get away. Please don't be someone lurking around the corner. Wait, so what do I do? Go this way? Dark cave or the lit cave? Oh, right. The one with no way back. Ooh. That was a very weird jump scare. <laughs> Punches in the face. That didn't quite seem realistic. I'm alive. I know I'm talking about a game here, but like... When you were swinging on a chain, you would have thought the entire thing would have snapped when they jumped on. After like a bit of struggling, not after they've gone. Because that reduces the weight. Ugh. God, my character's a mess. Jesus! This damn place. That was a cheap jump scare. I like it. <laughs> it was dead simple. Ooh. So it's got a very Called the beast inside. Uh, it's got a very beast inside feel. 
Um, I can't remember if this place feels side, familiar. YouTube or not. I can't remember. I've been here before. I've done for a live stream. No, not on YouTube. It was Twitch. It must have been Twitch. It had to be. That must have been one of the last ones I did. But this has got very, got a very weird feel of something like that. Like with you wandering through the cave systems. Oh, now it's yeah, I'm the user pipes. My head hurts. Shut up! No one will hurt you. It's not my fault. Shut up! These voices. Who are they? You ain't imagine. Door is locked. Door is locked. Ooh. Ooh. A cane. I have a wand. It's mine. I'm sure of it. He knows the king is his. Why don't he use the king to break these locks, eh? That would be great. Now the random wailing and screaming as I feel like the original the original Amnesia games. I'm pretty sure that it's took inspiration from that. You can just I can just sort of feel it, you know? With the sneaky mechanic of caves and specific item Oh what am I supposed to do? No. Oh. Oh. Ah, pick up Eagle Medallion. Oh. My fancy cane has. Door is locked. Yes, that looks very, very locked. now. Oh, the Eagle Medallion. Uh, what? I didn't like what was sounded like it was unlocked. I, yeah, I don't like that noise. Come on. Mm, I'm confused. Confused as hell. I can only turn it one way. Oh. Hmm. Strange. Line. Oh, this is cool. I like getting into the nooks and crannies of things. Box of matches. Those screams are rather unsettling. That one as is. Is there anything around it that I can use to maybe light some shit with? It might maybe. Right. Right. Uh, 
Ähm If you guys want to see what the matches are for, then uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm thinking five likes and maybe a couple of comments, and I will think about doing another episode of this. It's it's very interesting. It is very interesting. This shame legacy um, has a lot of good vibes, a lot of good mechanics, and um, some unique mechanics actually. I do I do like that you know the door push sneak mechanic. Um, the peak mechanic, I mean, it is very interesting, very unique, and uh, the visuals are all right. I've I've played a lot worse. I've also played a lot better. Um, to say it's made in Unreal Engine it is a bit, you know, is a bit so powerful in real games nowadays. But that being said, it does not take away from the game in any way. It's actually rather enjoyable. Um. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Bye-bye!